Okay, this unboxing is four middle grade books. Um, they're fantasy, but I don't believe they have magical creatures per se. I think these are more characters who have or discover special abilities. So let's take a look. The first one is Pennsylvania, pencil, like kind of like pen Pennsylvania, but like pens, like the like like a writing instrument by Stephanie Watson, illustrated by Sophia Moore. This is an advanced reader. Oh, it's advanced reader copy, but this came out a while ago. Um, so this is a modern take on the Phantom Tollbooth meets Harold the Purple Crayon. And so, oh, it's about a girl who has, basically she's got these drawing abilities. Um, so when her mother gets diagnosed with leukemia and dies, Zora, who used to just draw nonstop, um, stops. But one drawing, a horse named Viscardi that she drew is, is determined to finish the destruction Zora started. Oh, because um, when she scribbles her artwork, it yanks her mother and Frankie into Pennsylvania, a magical world that's home to everything Zora has ever drawn. So the horse kidnaps Frankie, promises promising to scribble her and all of Pennsylvania out at sunrise. Zora has to rescue her sister. Okay, so it's it's kind of like a dark version of Harold and the Purple Crayon. But it sounds great for artists, kids who like to draw and kids who like fantasy. Um, the other side of luck, this is um, by Ginger Johnson. It's published by Bloomsbury. Oh, Pennsylvania is published by Sourcebooks Young Readers. This one is perfect for kids who like the Inquisitor's Tale. So it's two kids from different circumstances who go on an adventure. And in this case, it's Princess Una, who is definitely royal. Um, and there's this rare silver flower. Um, and if you present it to her on her 12th birthday, you will get an, an award, a reward. But Una decides to take fate into her own hands and Julian, a young pauper, um, seems to be involved because he needs to win this contest to save his father, who is arrested by debt collectors. Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's one of those adventure, um, like, you know, they gotta go on a road trip adventure for this flower. And looks like also the character is black, which is cool, or at least a person of color. Um, interesting. Should we take a look? Let's see if we read a page of this. Julian. So Julian is the pauper. In a small stone dwelling on the edge of Anti Antiquatilla, a child waited to be born. The child who would become Julian knew the rhythm of his mother's heartbeat. The music of her blood flowing through her veins. He knew the trot of her footsteps and the creaking of her chair as she sat down. He knew the muted music of her voice. It was the tune he heard while floating and folded within her. But on this particular spring morning, the sounds changed. Her heartbeat sped up, her footsteps slowed down, and there were cries of pain, and the steady hum of his existence was traded for a shockingly loud sound. When, when Julian recognized that the sound came from him, he grew quiet and still searching for his mother's heartbeat. From above, he heard the low whine of the wind whistling through the cracks in the doorway. All right, interesting beginning. This next one is Soul Riders, part of the Star Stable series. This one is Darkness Falling by Helena Dahlgren. It is from Andrews McMill Publishing. And it's translated by Tara Chance. I don't know which language it's translated from. Okay, so there's a magical island of Jorvik. 
and there's four soul riders lisa ann linda and alex and mr san is threatening to destroy life on the magical island of jorvik only the soul riders and their horses can stop him and his dark riders. so everyone's on horseback um, so the soul riders need to master the magic but they're running out of time it's like a storm is coming darkness is falling it has vibes of um oh what's that series uh oh it's a really great series um set in like old england with the word darkness in it oh uh, I'll, I'll link it i'll find it um but this is like a, a horse version of it it has like a manga type feel too Okay, here's Jorvik. Here's the prologue. Sometimes people say, it must grow dark before it can become light again. But what does that really mean? Could it mean that the really challenging parts of life are necessary in order for hope to return and with it light? Or is it just something we say to comfort each other, to comfort ourselves when our lives feel tough. When darkness falls over the earth, giving up feels easy. What if it's too late to do anything about it? On an island called Jorvik, four girls take fate into their own hands. They're, they're doing something about it. They are the last soul riders. And this is the story of their first big battle against evil. Sounds very exciting. Okay, the fourth one, is by Bruce Coville, The Thief of Worlds. It also has a manga-like feel to the cover. And it is published by Random House. Okay, so this is related to Hurricanes. Oh, no, his name is Hurricane. So this, is, this character is named Hurricane. He is kind of connected to hurricanes but now his mother is sick in the hospital and then a a mysterious man called windlord shows up and he claims hurricane can find the wind thief and recover the magical horn that will fix everything okay i'm not sure what's messed up okay i guess oh the wind has stopped the air grows hot and still and hard to breathe and the hospital is this sounds kind of like covid Okay, but the hospital is full, and his mother is one of the patients. Okay, so he has to figure out if this is true. And he's got a journey to different worlds. Um, and this classic epic adventure fantasy is from beloved author Bruce Corville. What else has he written? Because I do recognize his name. My teacher is an alien. Oh, Cursed, Hatched, Trolled. That's, I guess that's the wildly popular unicorn series. Cool. All right. This sounds fun. Um, thank you to everyone who sent me these books. Um, and thank you all for watching.